Last year, Providence Real Estate Group started our Love Where You Live events, and this year I'm gonna build off of that. I'm going around my community, showing some of my favorite local businesses. My first stop, Grayson B. What's up? Hi, hey, Danielle. Hey. Thanks for letting me come check out Grayson B today, of one of my favorite boutiques here in the area. If you don't know Danielle, Danielle <laughs> is the amazing super mom of quintuplet girls plus her oldest Blake. Yeah. So six girls. Half a dozen. Yes. <laughs> and uh, she does it all. So boutique owner, mom, wife. Yep. She's prominent in the community and you know we love our community. We love where we live. So tell us the beginning of Grace and B. How'd it start? Well, um, so as a mom of six girls, I became this mom that just loved to like coordinate and like anywhere we went, it was like a unique family, right? So it's all these girls. So I never really, some of the girls were like match, match and like mommy and me match. And then it was like all about coordinating. And so that kind of just started this thing of like, you know, everybody's asking like, that's so cute. Where'd you get that? Blah, blah, blah. And so then whenever, I was like, I'm gonna do this. I had already owned an online boutique with t-shirts. And so that kind of, I already had the feel and knew how to like run the online thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try this out with clothes, like actual clothes instead of just t-shirts. And the name Grayson came up because that was the one boy name um, that we had picked out for our sibling for Blake Aww. that we never got to use a boy. Um, so when we were kind of picking out what should we name the shop, it was Grayson. Um, and Grayson B, just because we're the Busbees and everyone's, the girls always are like, I'm Ava B or I'm Hazel B uh, for their last initial since mm -hmm. they're in school, then they write their B dot. Aww. So that just kind of all came around like with, you know, one to coordinate, um, having a place here where you could come and shop for yourself, but it'd be, um, a place that was like, hey, you can buy women's stuff here, you can buy something for your children, you can buy something for the little boy. And it gave me like that outlet that I don't ever buy for boy stuff except for the shop. So um, it's my ultimate favorite thing to shop for is like boy stuff because I don't have a reason <laughs> to, but this gives me the reason to shop for boy things. So the vision started as the online to then always wanting a storefront once the Quint started kindergarten. Um, so that got delayed just after COVID. Uh, they started kindergarten in 2020 and I was like, yeah, we're not starting or looking <laughs> for a, a space or anything like that. So that got delayed till last year. We opened the storefront. So it's been open for about seven months um, here in this location in League City. And, you know, my vision is definitely to continue to grow. I'm an achiever. I like to have a vision. I like to see it come to life. And I like to continue growing and pushing on. And so my ultimate goal, I haven't told my husband this, but <laughs> would be like to have another store elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe back home in Louisiana, maybe somewhere else in a uh, Houston-based area. So I might be talking five years down the line, but... This is um, a new phase for us having the storefront and I love it so much that I'm like, I want more. <laughs> well, it's already grown so much. It's become really popular in the area. Everybody Thanks. loves it. Thank so. you. Thank you. Appreciate so it. So is this something you grew up wanting to do or what did you want to be when you grew up? You know, um, when I wanted, what I wanted to be when I grew up, I honestly wanted to be a vet. And then I was like, no, I can't do that because I don't want to see sad animals or hurt animals. Mm -hmm. Then I wanted to go into uh, engineering because I love doing things like with my hands and like building things to then turned into what I like to do is build things, but just that vision of like, hey, I have an idea. I want it to come to life. And because this is so, the boutique became part of like my day to day as far as like outfits and clothes and dressing so many on the daily it was that all together. Like I'm having a vision, I can bring it to life, but I do this every day with being a mom of six girls. And so, you know, this is 
not what I thought my life would be like <laughs> by any means from a mom of six to, you know, having a TV show to having in my own boutique. Like life is just completely not what I would have thought it ever was, but it's amazing. We're very fortunate. We're very blessed. We're very loved. And, um, I wouldn't ask for anything better. Isn't it cool how God works? It is. It's amazing. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, well, yeah, just when we think laugh. we have it yeah. planned, he says, oh no, <laughs> watch me. Yeah, so exactly. what's next for the BuzzFeeds? What are you guys up to these days? <sighs> you know, um, there's been lots of talks about the TV show coming back and, um, you know, we still do our YouTube, uh, so we have weekly videos that go up just to kind of, the girls are at the age now where they like love watching that kind of stuff and kind of understand like how do they see themselves on TV. It's because you got to film it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we've got some secrets down the way and here and there, but I'm not going to say too much too soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, they will... Definitely be more of the Busbies. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I just watched your laundry episode on YouTube and was cracking up at the door breaking. Oh, it's, it's something. It's the never of ending. Laundry. I think I hate laundry for <laughs> my family of five. And uh, yeah, yeah, I can't even imagine. It's never ending. All in the our lost house. socks. <laughs> I know it's like we have this basket of lost socks, but you never find the other one. So why yeah. do we keep the basket? I know. I have a basket of lost socks. And then socks I saw too. the video, and it's like because Adam threw them away, and I'm still waiting for uh -huh. them. <laughs> What's your favorite part of owning a business in, in the Lake City area? Um, you know, I'm. From having it online to now having the storefront in Link City, I think my greatest reward is like just what you just saw, like meeting people that come into the shop and just, I don't know, just like hanging out with them, getting to know them, like um, helping them find outfits and just that kind of interaction. It makes me just feel so great that I can do this for someone. And so that's just like, I didn't think I would have that much joy coming from that side of it, but I do, I want to be a place where you know, moms and people with children can come and their kids can play while they shop or let me offer you a glass of champagne or a Coke What or you want some coffee, you know? Like I know how it is to like want to go shop and you know, want to get out of the house with your kids. And so like I have that understanding like just let them play. Like I got some play stuff over here, let them hang out um, and just want to spoil the moms a little bit and you know, give them a glass of wine or, a, cup of coffee yeah. and let me play with the kids while you find some outfits or let me help you dress yourself you know and so it's just there's a lot of joy in that there's a lot of joy in that well you're good at it <laughs> you make you. it a whole experience and you also have all these amazing events yeah um just had your galentine's so that was a blast yeah it was national pizza day on <laughs> galentine's day here at grace and and so we had pizza and lots of chocolate photo booth um we had and i love to work with like local community and like link up with you know other businesses and stuff and so we had a uh, friend Angelica here doing some Botox and toxins and stuff and it just yeah I, I love being able to have a place where I can serve people but also work with the community to build people up as well and you know I'm woman-owned family-owned business from startup and I know how hard it is and you know I've been here for four years um, with this specific business but it's a lot of work and you need you need support of like your community and to rally around you to help you out and marketing and all of it. I mean, from real estate to to owning a boutique, like all of it, you you need people around you to, you know, spread your word. And there's, you know, social media is big now on that. But how do you get localized? And so that's I'm still pushing forward to that. So I really appreciate you, you know, highlighting Grace and B Boutique here and um, you know, so thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. It is, it's, it's a community effort and that's why I like, I love my job because yeah. it's all, you get to see the process and just like you, I just got to watch you pick out an outfit for someone <laughs> and they walked out feeling so good. And it's kind of the same with me. Like yeah. I get to say, Oh, what about this house? And they fall in love mm. or it doesn't work out. And like, you know what? God's got a better, yeah. better plan for you. And then they find the perfect house yes. and it's just, they walk away with like, Memories I know, it's be and a an hard experience. Job. <laughs> so. I know how stressful it is when we were looking for a house uh, and stuff. Yes. Um, but yeah, I give lots of praises to you because <laughs> I'm not sure I could ever be a real estate person. Uh, but we each fun. have our we, <laughs> we each have, have our, our area yeah. <laughs> of expertise. Well, yeah. thank you so much yeah, for taking the time it. to to talk to me yeah. and. Um, if you're in the League City area, come check out Grace and B. It's here off of 2094 in League City. And um, you're open, what are your hours? Uh, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 6, and Saturdays we're open 11 to 5. All right.